Now this question has been asked uh, many times already in the past. How you can relate it with the syllabus? In your syllabus, training and development is written. Hello everyone, welcome to Plutus IS. This side C is Sunal Chandra. So we were we are continuing now the discussion of the 2024 paper analysis. We were discussing the paper two, and uh, I was taking the HRM and IR questions. That uh, obviously you know you know that uh, it is asked in the part B. So we have already discussed the question number five, and I am moving to the question number six. Uh, so this is the sixth question. Uh, this has been asked from the HRM and tests are useful in predicting the failure rather than the success of the candidate on the job. Now to which topic you can relate it with? In the syllabus it is written as selection process and in, in the selection process there are various type of the selection test and you can further divide these into the ability test and the personality test. Like what uh, is the how the ability is tested like through the pan paper test, aptitude test and the achievement test. Similarly, in the personality test, we have a honesty test, interest test and attitude test. And these are the selection tests you prepare. And in the question, it is saying how the selection tests are basically predicting the failure rather, rather than the success. Why? Because uh, in the selection, it is not more about the selection rather than it is about the elimination. As you are testing that the person is uh, basically uh, uh, reflecting in that behavior or not. And moreover, obviously in the past also they have asked, there is a reliability a problem issue also in the selection test. And maybe that person will not uh, perform or behave in a particular manner in that uh, selection test or maybe that is has not performed in that sense or is also testing the only the sample behavior. That is why there is a, is uh, basically reflecting the failure only. And maybe if that person is not uh, have failed in the test and have been selected, maybe in the future there would be some error also. He will not be able to perform in a better uh, in the job. That is why we have a training and development also. So that's why there could be a gap also even if we recruit on the basis of various type of selection test. And you can also write it could be one of the basically process in the uh, final uh, appointment of any employee. It should be taken as only one uh, point because there are the limitations of the selection test. But yes, in this question, you can write the opposite side also that it also tests the success. Like if we uh, follow the various type of the selection test together and we also test the very uh, basically reliability of the test and uh, we maintain the consistency in this, then we can have us uh, measure the success also. So this way you can write the yeah by justifying the statement and then by you can write the contradiction also and then in the conclusion you can write in this way like apart from the selection test what new what other things you need to do then we can have a better selection process and yes try to remember in the in this question they are uh, saying that the selection is not actually acting as a selection that rather it is acting as an elimination and then secondly and uh, even if the person is uh, being uh, uh, considered as a favorable as per the selection test, maybe he will not be able to perform in the future. Now the second question, uh, question number six, part B, explain the rationale of the workers participation in management. And this is the question has been asked many times in the previous years already. And in your syllabus itself, it is written the WPM and its rationale. And they have already asked about the what are the measures. And in the past, uh, in the last video, I have already talked about this. Like whenever you're thinking or writing the measures or the problems, you can think about the stakeholders approach. I will move to that. Before that, uh, let's discuss about what is WPM. And from the uh, basically word itself, you can understand that we are making the workers to participate in the management. It means they will contribute to the suggestions and they will give the ideas. And we know that uh, uh, if the workers are working on the ground and they know the ground reality, it means if they would be suggesting and making a part in the policy making, definitely it will reduce the 
basically a cost and it will also enhance the uh, performance and productivity and the worker will also feel empowered and uh, if he would uh, feel empowered and feel responsible it, his productivity will also increase you can also uh, write about the vector model in the last video also have we have discussed there is a relationship between the motivation and performance this way you can relate it now uh, this question gives a chance to write the ma uh, maximum thinkers here like you can write about the social factors Alton Mayo says um, as the labor is not a factor of reproduction but rather he is a human so we should consider this criteria and even the Keith Davis talks about the psychological impact that is the emotional content or the com uh, emotional con connect creates with the management or you can say enterprise uh, it also reduces you can say the goal displacement is also reduced with this or we can say goal congruency can happen with the worker participation in the management and you can talk about the economic factors I have already told you reduction in the cost and the enhancement of the productivity political factors you can uh, quote the constitutional article DPSP that says we have to have a worker participation in the management and you can also talk about the industrial democracy so this way you can uh, write about the different dimensions here and you can use make the use of the thinkers here and you can prepare the one um, definition of the thinker for the WTPM as it is directly mentioned in your syllabus and for this you have to cover philosophy of the WPM, rational present day status and the future prospectus. In the last video also in the various videos I have discussed like you should be preparing some quotes that can be quoted everywhere like here you can quote the McGregor that says the, the creativity and ingenuity is not narrowly distributed but it is widely distributed and you can make the use of this quote for the, in the WPM that is worker participation in management quality circles management by objective wherever you want to show the in uh, basically productivity or the relevance of the theory by worker there you can quote this and it also enhances the uh, satisfaction of the motivation there you can quote the vector model the relationship between the motivation and the performance so uh, again if you understand the OT and uh, OB better this way you can write the HRN and IR questions better because um, otherwise you will be writing very general answers in the HRM and IR try to understand the classical and new classical thinkers and even the modern thinkers so that you should be able to th uh, relate them with the questions where nobody can think of quoting any thinker otherwise the general answer will not fetch more marks that is why uh, I always recommend apart from rather than writing the two questions from the part B I would recommend uh, my, uh, writing the two uh, questions from the part A because uh, whenever uh, we have a chance more chance to write the thinkers or the theories that uh, will fetch more marks let's move to the next question again uh, not a next question this is the same question I am I am showing you the approach again like the the way I have talked in the last video here also you while writing the measures you can use the stakeholders approach like uh, we can uh, legalize the WPM or uh, government efforts can be taken and you can write about the labor uh, the labor should be given the training with regard to it so that uh, that could participate like we have a quality circles and the attitude of the management can be changed and the management training can be also done and the management give the finance also for the WTPM to happen and we have uh, we can mention some good case studies as well like uh, Maruti that is having a suggestion box and it is said that around 200 crores have been saved by the Maruti by this method and we can quote the Japanese companies also for the uh, WPM and then trade union yes it should also play a role rather than uh, uh, like having outside leaders who is not uh, favoring the labor rights as such but it should have a basically a uh, political or the democratic leadership so that it can work for the welfare so trade union can also play role in the WPM so this is how you can write the answers in an IR by keeping these stakeholders in the mind if whether you are writing the issues or whether you are writing the measures now moving to the next question six question part C again the IR question multiplicity of the unions has retarded the effective working of the trade unions in the India and this question has been asked in the past and already they have asked 
what were the issues in the trade union movement and they have already asked what are the issues in the trade union in india we are facing basically the challenges in the trade union and they have also asked the inter trade union rivalry so this is how you can relate it with the previous year questions and in your syllabus trade union movement is mentioned now in this question if you see they have already given you the challenge and the problem in the trade union that is a multiplicity of the trade union now it's your uh, basically you have to define or uh, basically define what is multiplicity of the trade union that is the presence of the uh, more than one trade union in any organization or enterprise this is what your multiplicity of the trade union why it is there because if we see the act trade union act that allows the formation of the trade union if you are having a members more than 7 uh, members this is why we, this is also the reason for the multiplicity and moreover lack of uh, basically uh, the there is a presence of the conflict between the members and the lack of uh, leadership skills that are not able to unite the members that is why we have a multiple and even the management also plays a role like we can say divide and rule kind of thing is used by the management they do not allow the trade union to flourish these are all the reasons and uh, you can also talk about the outside leadership that also plays a role the political interference in the trade union this is also the reason <coughs> now it has how it has uh, affected retarded the effective obviously if there is no uh, union in the trade union and there are many trade unions how you will be able to have a collective bargaining how will you have a basically in, uh, industrial dispute resolution and the management will be utilizing the way that the other trade union is not in the favor of this so these are the problems uh, and the inter union rivalry is also seen this is why it is retarding the uh, effective working of the trade union so in this question discuss word is used whenever the discuss is used i tell you uh, whether it is gs or the optional you can divide your answer uh, basically question into maximum uh, dimensions you can like in this question you can define what is multiplicity of the unions then you can write about the reasons for the multiple uh, multiplicity of the union and how it has retarded the effective working of the trade unions and now in this question you have to mention about the way forward like what we can do to remove this problem then only the answer will be complete so this is how you can proceed this answer now next question to question number 7 here uh, what do you mean by the modal employer critically examine the role of uh, public enterprises in acting as a modal employer what is modal employer i hope uh, modal employer will be like uh, the employer who is having a good employment practices or and even uh, before 1991 at that time that the public sector was strong at that time it was considered that uh, the government is actually a modal employer now how will you relate it to the thinkers as such you have to think who will be a good employer you can relate it with the chapters of the ot and ob and i have already told you whenever you cannot think of something to prove or to write the approach would be go with the chapter wise let me tell you the how you can think like you can write the employee is a human not a factor of the production here you can make a use of the elton mew like a socialist theories or you can say new classical thinkers can be quoted here and you can also write about the inducement contribution model it means if you are basically the employee will contribute if you are inducing him with the fair salary or the minimum wages act or you can say the laws are uh, implemented and uh, bonus is given and even the work life balance can be maintained these kind of things you can write and even the job evaluation should be on the fair uh, thing or you can say performance evaluation needs to be on the 360 degree feedback and the promotions and transfers uh, transfer should not be for punishing the person and that uh, that should be for the training and the promotion should be on the timely basis and we can say that it should be on the merit basis and uh, you can talk about the mentoring the employer should act as a mentor like uh, rather than just expelling the person or you can say uh, in the last class also we have discussed about the involuntary uh, uh, separation it should not happen rather that person should be given the guidance and the mentoring and that uh, so we can have a buddy kind buddy program kind of thing that we have in the cordridge so transformational leadership is required and uh, in this approach you are able to think that i am linking with the uh, chapters of the hrm 
I R O T O B, and I am also quoting the question of the topics of the previous years. And you can talk about the positive psychology can be used. You can talk about the Johri window here, like uh, what it says. Uh, the approach should be I am okay and you are okay, and then the retaining employee should be the way. and the outplacement it means you should also help the employee to get the another jobs also like other companies there are other companies that are basically conducting the job fairs you can also talk about the good uh, practices of the public enterprises here like how you will say the public enterprises is a model empire model employer like um, following the law salaries and pensions are uh, given on the fair manner work life balance is maintained in the government jobs and the security of tenure is also there timely promotions are there and uh, there is also social justice through the reservation now you, you can talk about the problems in the uh, basically public enterprises like uh, here the you can talk about the corruption and the nepotism kind of thing we see in the appointments and uh, you can also talk about the basically uh, reservation hinders the merit promotions you can also talk about the basically the inside the uh, whatever the nexus is present due to which the real uh, basically talent cannot come so talent management is not there and you can talk about the literal entry also that uh, uh, hurts the rights of the uh, senior employees so this is why next elucidate the executive development technique relating to the interpersonal and decision making skills now this question has been asked uh, many times already in the past how you can relate it with the syllabus in your syllabus training and development is written now in this uh, you can say that uh, we read about the on the job of the job training methods and we also read about the executive development now in this question they have already divided the interpersonal skills and the basically decision making skills but whenever you will prepare about the training methods there also you will read about this like interpersonal skills means we are developing the skills that uh, how to interact with the other person so we are acting on the uh, interaction between the two like you can talk about the transactional analysis like uh, the conversation should not happen like uh, parent child uh, or you can say adult child uh, transaction should not happen it would be a basically contradiction uh, transaction rather we should have a complementary transaction that is from adult to adult so this is how the transaction or the transaction analysis you can make use of it to explain the how the interpersonal skills should be like we should need uh, need to increase uh, decrease the disputes or the conflicts between the two people so how we can develop that that we can have a role playing training we can have a sensitive training we can have a Lake Mount managerial grid. So this way we are able to even relate to the thinkers. So this is how you need to prepare the notes itself. So there only uh, like think about like which thinker I can quote here, and this thinker we read in the leadership theories. Now decision making skills, how it can be developed? We can have a mentoring, brainstorming, case study method, and in basket exercise. You will cover all this whenever you will read about the. uh acharam here we read about the training method so this is how you can write about this and in this question elucidate it means you have to write in brief about this training you can mention uh, some positive or negative of it so this is how you can write about the training methods then uh, next question how is the job design different from the job analysis now this question we can say that in your syllabus job analysis is mentioned and the job analysis is further divided into the job description and the job specification what is job analysis what is job description job description in this basically we define what is the role and responsibilities of particular job job specification what do we define what kind of person or the nature of person should be there so that he can be able to do that job very efficiently or effectively so this is the difference between job description and job specification although we can say that job description is uh, near to the job design so job design we can say that uh, it's near to the job description so we can say that if we draw a, a circle this is a job analysis then the job design would be a one part of it as it is near to the job dis, uh, description but uh, if we see the job design it also talks about the process of defining the way 
work will be performed so it is also talks about the process that how it will be performed and here you can also talk about the Herzberg like that talks about uh, two factor theory like uh, sanitation should be there the, this way the job should be designed you can also talk about the job enhancement here because that will motivate the person so this way you can uh, differentiate between this then how will you approach this question job design and the job analysis give the definitions i have already included here you can take a screenshot to define these and then you can make a table to differentiate this like for example i have told you the job analysis also talk about the duties roles responsibilities that is a job description and the job analysis also talks about the knowledge and the qualifications of the person the nature of person that is required for the job then you can define the job design and then the focus if we see it gather all the information to create the job description and the job specification it talks about the content of the jobs or you can say the process why which the uh, work will be done and it is uh, again talks about the comprehensive information it talks about the comprehensive business objectives so we can see that job design is more on the business like the efficiency of the business and then uh, if we see the other further you can talk about the job description and the job design are the well structured to get the best possible candidates so this is more about the hrm this takes place after the recruitment like if you have completed the recruitment then also we can decide like how we can decide here you can quote the Herzberg. then the last question uh, question number eight a part it talks about the two approaches of the managing the industrial disputes uh, industrial disputes is mentioned in your syllabus and in that the uh, syllabus also talks about the prevention and the settlement of disputes this is what a prevention uh, we read how we are preventing the disputes like if we have a grievance redressal mechanism if we have a work councils if we have a quality circles these are the preventive uh, things and how we are trying to settlement even you can talk about the arbitration here you can talk about the collective bargaining in the uh, prevention and even you can write about the vv giri that talks about the collective bargaining and the prevention should be the way and uh, you can talk about the national labor commission that has also said we should uh, basically uh, invest on the prevention of the dispute rather than the settlement settlement basically now the dispute has gone to the court as such so here you can talk about the tribunals uh, national tribunal commission we have so here you will talk about the settlement you here you can talk about the mediation and the conciliation kind of process so in the syllabus itself you will prepare about this this question talks about there are two approaches of managing the industrial dispute preventive and curative explain this statement it means in the first part you will define how there are two approaches you can give the way uh, also of how we can prevent the and how we can curate and curative is relating to the settlement and it has been asked in the past also also evaluate their individual effectiveness it means you have to write the positive and negative of the pre preventive and settlement next question an experiment in the profit sharing scheme on the wide scale would be definitely undertaking a voyage on the uncharted seas now this question is a little bit more uh, conceptual here this question also relates with, with the job uh, salary and wage administration job evaluation so this is the topic with which you can relate this particular uh, question now in this question they are talking about the profit sharing incentive scheme it means if they are talking about the negative of the profit sharing incentive if you understand like uh, how we are sharing the profit like uh, we have a esop uh, employee stock options it means we are giving the share to the employee as an incentive that uh, if it means what will happen you can you should be prepared with the uh, positives also it will motivate the employee it will enhance the productivity but how it is also a negative thing like we are giving a, a share in the profits it can have the negative impacts also so this is how they have uh, written this definitely undertaking a voyage on the un uncharted seas so if you have prepared the chapter you will prepare the positive and negative of the profit sharing scheme also so last question uh, explain the organs of the ILO it's a very much direct question as in your syllabus already the ILO is mentioned 
in the past they also they have not asked organs as such but in the short note they have asked uh, short note on the ILO and some uh, deeper questions has also been asked in the ILO so uh, if the some topic is mentioned in your syllabus always prepare the basic things also so here you will prepare the definition that this is a tripartite organization uh, and it has been uh, basically set up in 1919 tripartite means uh, government management and employ so when now the uh, goal has expanded we have also included the ngos and the other orga uh, international organizations as well now here you can talk about like uh, organs are asked and you need to explain it means you can talk about the functions of these organs so if something is in your syllabus do prepare the basic things also and so i am ending the discussion so we have covered the paper too fully you can watch this through this you can even prepare the your basically model answers with regard to the 2024 and again i want to say prepare the syllabus and also prepare the previous year questions from 2014 uh, to 2024 and with this way your basically notes can become more concise and also uh, please understand the thinkers and find the way and the find the opportunity in every question like where i can quote the thinker so i am ending the discussion thank you everyone